Hi everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this On One short clip, I'm going to show you how to use the HDR look to add some punch and some detail to an architecture photo, but do it in a way that's not over the top or too crunchy. I'll begin and develop with some basic auto settings here to get the tone and the color for the photo looking good. Next, in the effects module, I'll add the HDR look. It's pretty natural looking to begin with. I'm going to back the compression off a little bit so there's not too much of that HDR feel. Nudge detail up a little bit as well as clarity. I will open the shadows up so those lower columns aren't as dark. And add a slight amount of glow just to give this a little bit of a soft feeling. A final touch for this photo is to get more detail in the brighter parts of the image. I'm going to add a dynamic contrast filter. I'm going to use a luminosity mask to tone down the effect everywhere except in the bright areas. And I'll increase that small slider to get those fine details up in these upper columns and ceiling here. So before that dynamic contrast and after. That luminosity mask is minimizing the contrast on the darker areas and maximizing it on the brighter areas. And this photo is pretty well naturally vignetted, so we are all set. This is before all the changes, and this is after. A few clicks and that HDR look filter really did a nice job in smoothing out the tones and bringing out the detail in this magnificent piece of architecture. I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name's Scott Davenport. Thanks for watching.